the base, venture and upgraded transcontinental models weigh in at 957 pounds and 963 pounds, respectively, so the factory went with steel members for the main frame to support all that stress. The die-cast subframe finishes the skeleton with a knight toward mass centralization, though it seems a bit futile if you consider the effect of a load in the turret pack, but I guess they had to at least make an effort. The steering comes raked out quite a bit at 31 degrees with 5.7 inches of trail, so the venture is going to be quite stable in the straights and comfortable over the long haul. Even though the factory took steps to try to reduce rotational inertia through mass centralization, there's no arguing with the steering numbers, and the spike is going to feel a little reluctant in the corners. A pair of 46mm forks support the front end on 5.1 inches of travel, but offer nothing in the way of adjustment while the rear shock gives up 4.3 inches of travel and only the obligatory preload adjustment. All in all, a rather uninspiring suspension system, but one that is, unfortunately, all too common on American-style tourers.